Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for Aries for March 16th through the 22nd. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now just a reminder, these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. And all the card information is listed below, so let's get started. We first have the Major Arcana card, The Devil. The Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords. And your overall energy, the Queen of Cups. Okay, Aries. Well, the first thing that's coming through is that there are things or people around you this week which are going to interfere with what you would like to be doing. And this energy is more of a definite negative energy. Almost like an energy vampire. Someone's going to really be wasting your time and having you going around in circles. Now, let's take a closer look at your cards here. And first, as your anchor card, you have the major arcana card, the devil. Right off the bat, I feel this is definitely a Capricorn individual in your life that's going to be throwing a monkey wrench into your plans this week. Now, Aries, this can be a Capricorn that's currently in your life or one that's going to show up. But either way, Aries, this individual is going to try to manipulate you and maneuver things where they're going to get great benefit from it. That's about the best way I can put it. I feel like they're going to try to talk you into something that you would normally never do. Now, for some Aries, the devil card showing up can indicate that you're just ignoring your higher self and that you're disconnected from spirit and possibly in some way you're just deceiving yourself. This can be the beginning of this negative energy that is around you pretty much for the entire week. So the advice here would be to meditate, calm your mind, slow down, Think about what you're doing. Connect to your higher self. Get some guidance from your angels and guides. And I feel like somebody is really trying to pull you off track. It's more of a jealousy energy, not wanting you to move forward because they are not. And the number 15 of this card reduces down to number six. And in this case, it's disrupting the harmony and balance in your life. Now let's take a look at your next card, which is the Ten of Swords. So what's happening here, Aries, is that someone or something around you is going to put you in a situation, how you see the individual, the individual on this card here, where you're going to hit rock bottom. It will feel like you've never felt before, just the worst case scenario that you can imagine. And even though the Ten of Swords does signify completion, this is going to be the direct result, possibly of this Capricorn individual encouraging you in a certain direction, manipulating you, Aries. And then this is, going, this is what's going to be happening to you. You're going to hit rock bottom. Now, normally the Ten of Swords energy represents someone who has a great deal of self-pity, who feels like a martyr, like they've made huge sacrifices for others and then received nothing in return. Now, this is not your energy, Aries. This is the other person's energy. This is someone who feels sorry for themselves. They're jealous of what other people have and especially you, Aries and they're gonna pull you down. 
Now, the Ten of Swords card is Gemini's card. So if you're not resonating with a Capricorn, it might possibly have something to do with the Gemini. And the only thing positive about this card, Aries, is that a new day is dawning in the background. And you will rise above this. And once again, the number 10 energy of this card is the highest form of completion. Or should I say, rock bottom, that's possible. Now, moving on to your next card, Aries, <laughs> the Seven of Swords, holy cow. If you did not think you had bad energy around you before, with this card showing up is a huge indication. The Seven of Swords energy is all about deception, breaking agreements. It's very manipulative energy. And this is someone sneaking around your back, not being up front with you, possibly stealing something from you. And a lot of times they could be stealing your reputation right out from under you, spreading gossip and rumors about you. Now, the Seven of Swords is Aquarius's card. So between the Ten of Swords being Gemini and the Seven of Swords being Aquarius, these are both air signs. The only other air sign would be Libra, which I don't feel comes into the reading at all. Now, this Seven of Swords card can indicate someone's using clever mind tricks to get what they want. And that's what I felt at the beginning, such manipulative power. They're trying to get some situation to go their way, and it will impact you and possibly others. Now, for other Aries, watch out because somebody might be actually stealing your work in the workplace. So take precautions and do not leave your computer screen open. Lock it up when you're not in front of it. And keep your work very close to your vest, especially your ideas. Now, unfortunately, the number seven energy of this card is having to deal with forces that are beyond our control. So this reading is serving as a warning. This could be something in the workplace, or this could be friendships, or should I say frenemies, or relationships around you. It's hard to say since this is a general reading. Now, the three-card spread adds up to number 32, which reduces to number five. This is not our favorite energy, Aries. The number five is complications, challenges, conflicts. It's competition at its worst. The energy of doing whatever to win. And the number five likes to shake things up. It likes to create drama, which I feel is happening to you this week. Someone is creating all this drama that's happening to you. Now, the number five is the number of the throat chakra, which is concerned with communication. So this might be an indication for you to speak up, Aries, if and when you have definite proof of who's doing what. Now, the next card I want to talk about, Aries, is your overall energy card. And you have the Queen of Cups. This is your overall energy for the reading. So I feel the Queen of Cups is someone that's going to be supporting you throughout this week. The Queen of Cups is a water sign, and this is actually Cancer's card. So it could be a Cancer or possibly a Scorpio or Pisces will be supporting you throughout this week. Now, this queen is usually a more mature and very sensitive and compassionate listener, and she generally helps others to understand their own emotions. She is extremely connected to her higher self, which is one of the indications that I feel is needed, Aries, that you need to get connected back to your higher self to protect you from this energy this week. So she is probably going to help you in regards to that because she always pays close attention to her feelings and intuition. But she does also listen to her heart. Now this can be a very loving mother, 
This could be a coworker that's very supportive or a longtime friend. Now let's take a look at the crystal of the week that your guides have provided. And as I was shuffling, two fell out together, right side up. So here they are, tourmaline and amethyst. Okay, so simply put, amethyst here is in regards that your intuition is very strong right now. So be sure to trust in your intuition. And as I was saying, Aries, you need to connect to your higher self. Let your angels and guides offer guidance and valuable insights for this week. Now, amethyst is associated with your third eye chakra, which directly relates to your intuition. So this crystal is indicating to harness the power of amethyst to reconnect with your intuition for this week. Now, it's pretty obvious as to why Tourmaline showed up for you this week. This crystal will help you to focus on getting rid of any old stagnant or negative energy that's around you at your home and or your work environment. If you do have some sage Aries for smudging, that would be helpful as well. Tourmaline helps you to release stress from your body and mind, and it reminds you to try to remain positive no matter what the circumstances are in your life, Aries. Try to surround yourself with positive people this week that help to keep your energy uplifted. So both crystals would be very beneficial for you to carry this week. Amethyst to help raise your intuition and recognize the negative energy and tourmaline to carry with you to ward off the negative energy around you this week. Now, I did pull a Starseed Oracle card, and this card is for the Aries individuals that are longing for all that's mysterious and unknown. So this card won't resonate with everyone. And Aries, you received big picture thinking. Okay. This is Pallades energy and having inspired ideas. And the Palladians are our cosmic cousins, and they're here to remind us that it's never too late to learn new things and change the future. So Aries, you're being called to be a visionary for the planet, to take a breath, shake off what you've been taught about the world, and hold a new vision for humanity. Now, you're likely a natural big picture thinker as it is, here to generate ideas for the future. And possibly, Aries, this might be the work, the ideas that I was talking about in your reading that somebody might be trying to steal away from you. Now, the world needs more artists and dreamers, inventors, and visionary thinkers. And perhaps you've had an idea recently that you're being called to usher in. If so, this card is your confirmation that it's divinely guided. They're calling on you to be a leader of the future, to hold a clear vision of what's possible, and to trust that vision and follow it through with daily action. Now, it takes courage to pave a new path, to trust a vision before its reality. So, Aries, are you being called to step up and lead? And what new ideas or creations are you being called to pursue at this time? Think about it, Aries, and in the meantime, protect yourself with your crystals from the harmful people and energies that are buzzing around you this week. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. To continue with a private reading, click on my website link below. Love, health, and abundance to my Aries family.